Hello and welcome to the Strategic Bookkeeper Podcast. In today's episode, I felt like jumping on and sharing a bit of detail on what I do in the program and kind of how I work with the members. At the time of recording this podcast, we are on wait list for the program for the next time the doors open, which I believe will be opening the doors again in July 2024. And so you can join the wait list. So in today's podcast episode, I was kind of thinking like if I was a bookkeeper out there and I was thinking, oh, I'd like some help, I'd like some support. And I was thinking about the transformation program. I thought some of what I'd like to share with you today would be really, really meaningful. Yeah. In terms of, you know, exactly what it feels like or kind of what it feels like, because it can be really hard for me to convey what it's like in the program. Yeah. But I thought I might just do a short podcast and just go into a little bit of what I do on a day to day basis. There's a lot of what the team and I do overall, but just a bit of what I do on a day to day basis and what it feels like, because my program, it doesn't compare to what anyone else out there is doing. Okay. And the tribe tells me that, but also one thing I'm so passionate about is that my program is not static. It is ever evolving. Okay. So you can be in there forever, constantly able to rinse, repeat, learn new things and more. Okay. So let's dive in so I can share a bit of that with you. I'm Jeannie Savage, the strategic bookkeeper. I've been in practice for 14 years, but more importantly, five years in, I achieved a lifestyle practice. This means I scaled my business, could take my hands off the wheel and draw a nice six figure income while being time rich. And that's what I call my dream on my terms. I was recently awarded Women in Finance Innovator of the Year, recognizing my book, my podcast, my program, and my impact globally. The Strategic Bookkeeper is my life's work and the opportunity to help bookkeepers globally achieve the income and lifestyle that sets them free absolutely fills my cup. Please do connect with me on socials at the Strategic Bookkeepers Way private Facebook group or shoot me an email, hello at the Strategic Bookkeeper.global. Okay, so let's jump in. So what prompted me to stop and record this podcast today is that I got an email from one of our newer members. So she is right kind of early in her journey. So she's left a full-time job because they wouldn't allow her to go part-time to pursue her dream of building a lifestyle business, right? So she was, I like to call it working for the man, (laughs) that old saying. And she was dreaming of having her own bookkeeping practice. So she is a bookkeeper, a registered bus agent in Australia. She wanted to build out her own practice, yeah? So she's left her full-time job and all that security and her husband is 100% behind her, but she's right at the beginning of her journey acquiring new clients. So she's got a few new clients, the ones that she've got. So her and I did a hot seat around pricing. So this really gives you some insight into in real life with me and what I'm doing. Yeah. So I'm just going to my diary as I'm recording this. And last week, What we did, we had an implementation session around a brand new module that I rolled out, which was one of the last major parts of the transformation program, which was on how to basically use events to scale your business. Yeah. And I give my tribe members not only exact, like all the digital collateral, like the creative. I remember there was a time where if you had said that to me, I would have been like, I have no idea what you're saying. But basically, these days we tend to use Canva, right? And so what I do is over the last, say, four years, I've gone from zero to hero in terms of running events. I have published a really short ebook called The Seven Deadly Cashflow Sins. And then what I did is I tested that on podcasts worldwide. We got incredible traction. So that's when I turned it from a blog to a book and I prepared it so that I could co-author it with every tribe member. So that in the product ladder, which if you read my book, you'll 
you'll understand product ladder and I've got podcasts on it. So in the product ladder, the seven deadly cash flow sins that you co-author with me sits as a welcome line nurture asset. So basically what I do in the program, I want to keep everything as simple and impactful as possible. So then I've created this event around the seven deadly cash flow sins. Okay. In two ways. One is that my tribe gets all the done for them digital assets to run the event, to promote the event, how to promote the event, absolutely everything, right? Exactly what to do when someone registers and more and more and more. But then also I give them a done for you event all pre-recorded by me so that literally the first day you come into the program, you can take that event, put it into your productized services, get a competitive advantage. You can put it on your social media. You can start building demand and desire, tons of stuff, right? Because what I want to do is help you get runs on the board before you even fully understand the strategy behind what we're doing, okay? Because this is my zone of genius, whereas your zone of genius tends to be the technical bookkeeping, okay? So if I was going to teach you from the ground up how to do what I do with events, it would take years and years and years. So what I want to do is help you be able to hit the ground running, do it, do it, do it, and kind of observe and learn how it all works while you're getting results. So last Wednesday, a quick word on how to work with me. You can join the waitlist for the Strategic Bookkeeper Transformation Program, which is a world-class, world-first, described by members as mind-blowing, which typically pays for itself within a month and has a full money-back guarantee. Simply go to the Strategic Bookkeeper dot global forward slash waitlist. I also have a pricing academy with a calculator and my entire suite of product tire services, plus other courses and resources on my website. Email me if you have any questions, okay? We did that implementer, but that also meant that the new members that had come through the tribe, I'd done the induction for them the week before, but I really wanted to do another session, especially for them. And one of my new members reached out and she was struggling a bit with pricing. We chatted on Messenger, then we chatted on the phone and I set up the same day a hot seat with her. So basically with the hot seat, everybody gets invited as long as the tribe member is happy with that. But the tribe member comes in and I do like a one-on-one session with that person live and recorded around what's happening for her in her practice and the questions and help she needs, which is the implementation right around pricing. Okay. So she came into the hot seat and we had other people in there too. And as I was saying about her practice, she had saved four or five clients and I was able to get her to put those in a spreadsheet, have a look at them, look at how she's handled them, give her some really short, sharp direction on what I thought she'd done well, what I thought could be improved and so much gratitude to this tribe member for allowing me to be quite direct. (laughs) She is showing up. And so then in the hot seat, really just answer all her questions. And then other people in the hot seat have the opportunity to listen and to ask more questions. It was amazing. Hot seats are always fantastic. So that's what it looked like last week. But then what I've done this week, so this same tribe members sent me an email just asking me some questions actually about our productized services that are included in the Pricing Academy. So the Pricing Academy is available to buy standalone, okay? This tribe member has received the Pricing Academy as part of the transformation program as it was a special offer included in the last time that we opened the doors. So when she sent me those questions, what happens is my beautiful assistant, she answered her as best she could. And then she sent me a Facebook message saying, you might want to jump on and have a look at this, which I did. So then what I do is I create either an audio or a video. So sometimes I create audio that goes in our private podcast, which is called the tribe pod. And one of the reasons I have a private podcast and that these things don't go public is because they're not going to make sense to the general public, right? They're making sense to the tribe because it's completely linked to everything that they're learning and building and implementing. Okay. 
in this case i made it a video and then what i do i'm literally clicking through and i'm literally doing this as we speak i'm in there going publish and save so we go into the pricing academy and we have these extra lessons from genie and this one's called what's the difference between the training and setup packages genie answered and then there's a loom video where when someone asked me a question, in this case, what was the difference between these three productized service training packages? I know that I need to give this member and the entire tribe some general information about productized services again. So I want to rinse and repeat. So in this case, for example, I quickly whipped up a mind map because I love mind maps and the tribe has told me that when I make things visual with mind maps, it's really helpful and really meaningful. So we have a folder that the tribe accesses with my flowcharts and mind maps and they also go into the academy. So I'm going to attach that into this new bonus lesson. And let's say you bought the Pricing Academy, then that lesson would also pop up new in that Pricing Academy. So the Pricing Academy, the reason I like to call it an academy is that extra things go in there. Like if I felt that we had a really great new powerful productized service, or we needed to update one, like it literally would go in there. Okay. So that's what I've created is I've created this 12 minute loom video to answer the questions that this tribe member had, but to also rinse and repeat on some general information that will really make sense of what happens when a prospect knocks on her door. Okay. Cause I think about exactly where she's at in her journey and then really help her understand, okay, let's think about what these people need because 80% of them all need the same thing. Yeah. And then 20% of them tend to need something different. So let's just make sure that we understand our core productized services. And then let's look at those training services. And then I also referred to our standalone course, Be a Brilliant Trainer, which is available to buy. And I kind of showcase the extra productized service that we have in there in order to support the tribe generally. So the next thing I'll let you know how that kind of happens, and I'll tell you what's happening this week. So I've definitely put myself under pressure. <laughs> it's going to be a big week. And in fact, I'm looking at my diary now and going, uh, I need to move one of my clients because what I've identified in the transformation program, we tell you that you get an implementation session fortnightly. And when you come into the program, look, I give you the keys to the kingdom and it can feel like holy cow. Like I can tell you, you cannot understand what's inside there until you're in there. And that can be a little bit overwhelming and I'm there to hold your hand with that. So we actually do an implementer every week at the moment. <laughs> and then I do a hot seat as needed. And this week I'm doing a special, actually I'm doing a business fundamentals training. So this is the event module I was talking to you about before. So I've rolled out this done for you event for the bookkeepers around the seven deadly cash flow sins. And the tribe said to me last week, Jeannie, the recording's amazing, but it would also be amazing to see you show up live and run the event as if we were the entrepreneurs. So I said, great, let's do that Tuesday morning. Just Tuesday morning suit everyone. Awesome. Let's lock it in. So I'm going to do that Tuesday morning. And then on Wednesday morning, as well as our regular back end implementation session, which the wonderful Joe McMahon heads up the systems and team and also the strategic bookkeeping methodology, which we also call virtual CFO. So Joe turns up and does a structured open coaching call on that. But I want to support all the new members around front end because I know that a lot of them are going to have a focus on winning the work, like finding new client or generating new business. And I don't want to have to wait another week or have them wait till next week. So I'm doing what I call a choose your own adventure. And you can turn up with Joe or you can turn up with me. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what's happening in the program live. And what I'd like to bring it back to is that I have my seven ingredients, right? So you've got brand, menu, attraction, conversion, succession, systems, and team. How I make that all work is five things, okay? And they're somewhat linear, but they're an ecosystem as well. So that is education, assets, 
implementation team and support. And I'd love to connect what I just told you with that because my passion for that five steps or that ecosystem is just so, so strong. Yeah. I've had many tribe members just say, how did you do all this? Like, how did it come together so incredibly well? And I do believe that when we're living into our purpose, things are easier. And I do think that the strategic bookkeeper project is my purpose. So what we talked about there is the education primarily, like the basis of it is in the academy that you get. Yeah. So I'm looking at the academy as I record this podcast and inside of there, you've got all the things. Okay. So you've got the most detailed brand marketing and selling academy education for bookkeepers in the world. I mean, nothing even comes close to what we give you on brand marketing and selling. There are other bookkeeping coaching systems that give you a lot of detail around standard operating procedures. And to be honest, that's reasonably easy. (laughs) That's why I can actually delegate all of that to someone else to support you because it's quite black and white and linear. But brand marketing and selling, what we give you in the academy, like I say, there is nothing on this earth that even scratches what we give you, right? So you get absolutely all the education in there. But in the academy, the other thing we give you is all the assets. So the assets are like the digital collateral. So just for example, so in terms of brand, I worked my bum off to find a way to do this leveraged kind of intellectual property where you could integrate your brand into the most powerful true brand, remembering that a brand is not a logo or a website, a brand is an organization's personality, as you read about in my book, which is your vision and your mission. Yeah, primarily your one page solution, your unique selling proposition, and so on. I give you the main objections, overcome the objections, everything in the million dollar storybook brochure. Okay. And I was looking at that outside my square the other day when one of the tribe members posted hers in the private Facebook group. And it was the first time that I feel like I could truly, I kind of accidentally stepped back and I was like, oh my goodness, I can see it. Like I can see why they're getting these most incredible results. Like I put my heart and soul into it. That's why I call it the million dollar storybook brochure. And that's an example of a really high value asset. Other ones are, for example, completely done for you social media library that we train you how to modify, etc. Completely done for you nurture assets, right? So for example, a business health check. So you've got what I call the product letter completely done for you. So that's content for your website, your nurture assets, which are also known as lead magnets. I hate that phrase, but we give you really powerful ways to create a pipeline of inquiries. You get all your things like the needs analysis, the, as I said, the seven deadly cash flow sins book. The other thing we do is give you a done for you podcast. And then we give you the ability to email your entire database a done for you podcast, which is the better in business global podcast, which if you listen to that, it pitches strategic bookkeepers, drives demand and desire for them. And we're just currently building out the directory that all the bookkeepers go in, but that actually helps your database to be educated and go through the customer journey and build your pipeline. Yeah. So that the inquiries drip, drip, drip in. Okay. So that's in terms of winning new business and also upgrading existing clients into strategic bookkeeping and solving more problems. So you get all of that. You get the done for your event. You get the done for you assets and process around upgrading your existing clients as well. And then things like the pricing academy, you get your pricing calculator, you get the suite of productized services, the done for you standard operating procedures. So that's just an example of the assets because right now I want to connect to education assets, implementation team and support. And the implementation is what we just talked about then. Okay. So it's myself and the team in there helping you with 
what's working, what's not working, and holding your hand every step of the way so we can help you to make it all work, okay? And that is a very big difference between what I do and other coaches do, okay? So we call it open hearts and open minds. Tell me exactly what's going on for you so that I can kind of go, okay, so you're doing this, 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 oh, you're not doing that one, you need to do that, or you're not, say, in the networking part, oh, you're not doing my pitch, you need to do that. Another example is one of our tribe members in the Facebook group, which I asked for, she posted a networking pitch that she wrote up. So I spent quite a while taking that pitch and educating the whole tribe on what I liked, what I thought could be improved, and I completely repitched for her the most powerful strategic pitch and you get all the done for you manager minute or that you know the spotlight you do each week at a networking group that's all done for you in a way that will rocket your results okay so that's another example in terms of the team what I discovered over the years is to have the best chance at having success in your bookkeeping practice is to be able to leverage an incredible team with marketing copywriters, graphic designers, business strategists, veteran bookkeeping coach, systems and team expert, etc. So we've done that for you and that's your team behind the scenes. And then the support is the tribe private Facebook group, which is incredible and a lot of members say that that's their favorite part. So my friends, I hope that this podcast that I've done in the middle of kind of in real life with Jeannie, exactly what's going on right now in the program has been helpful. Yeah. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, I'd always love to hear about them or hear from you on email and I'll see you in the next podcast. Okay, my friend, now it is time to take action. So what are you going to do with what you learned today? The way I see it, you've got two options. You can go it alone to try and save some money, or you can back yourself and go for it and join my tribe. And let me tell you, we are knocking it out of the ballpark. That's not a sales pitch. That is me serving you, dare I say, courageously. To find success, I 100% know you need the mechanics, which is like the keys to the kingdom, but you also need to get your mindset right and be super productive. And these are all things I help you with inside the program. I could go on about this forever because I really want this for you. Have a prosperous week and I'll see you in the next episode.